So this is what I worked on today. Hello everybody and welcome back to Halloween week video number three. My name is Upsnap and today I am going to do the iconic black swan makeup with a little bit of a twist. I'm going to add a cracked part onto the face. I know black swan's been done and all over the internet so I wanted to add a little bit of a different touch. These were the two pictures that I was inspired by. One of the looks that the artist did on Natalie Portman with the crazy red and black eyes and then the second one is another one of the movie posters that shows her cracking on the inside. I thought it would be cool to bring those two pictures together into a look so I hope you guys enjoy. I started this look out by going into my handy dandy trusted Maron paint palette which is looking crazy at this point. I went through and I started creating the base which was just white skin really really white skin all over little tip do not do this thing where you stripe weight and then blend because it will dry underneath and it will be harder for you to blend with I learned that lesson the hard way during this make sure that you get the ears and of course the neck as well because you want to make sure all visible areas of the face and neck are covered then I am going through and I'm taking my handy dandy Makeup Forever HD setting powder and I am setting my face with that powder because it has white flashback which is perfect for this look. And then taking the Dose of Colors Cream Matte Eyeliner, I'm going to start shaping out the eye. Oops, that happens often. I drop things a lot when I'm doing uh, any kind of makeup look. I, I, uh, any kind of makeup look, I don't know why. All right, so going in and just making sure I have everything mapped out and then I'm going back into my paint palette and I'm using the black because it's just so much easier to work with the paint palette than it is with the liner. When you go into the out part of this that you make these shapes so it looks like a swan's wing. And then of course, making sure that you get everything covered in black. Next, I'm taking some white from that paint palette and I'm just drawing some strokes on so it looks like feathers. You don't have to be very precise. You don't even have to make sure that both of the eyes match. You just have to make sure that there's a bunch of white strokes going through. And so that's what I did. I just did a bunch on both sides of the eyes. I didn't try to make it very specifically the same on each side. And then I followed through and I put some glitter on there. So I used the ColourPop Loose Glitter in Far Out and I just added some glitter all over where the white part was. This is not necessary. If you want to, you can. And I'm using that gel eyeliner again and then lining the bottom of the eye so that it connects from the bottom all the way to the top there. And then I'm taking this pinkish color from the Dose of Colors Frankation palette and I'm running that underneath the black part of the line because in the image, if you look really closely, it looks like she has like red underneath there or like a pinkish. Then I'm using this gray color to contour the face and make the face look a little bit skinnier than before. Natalie Portman was extremely skinny in this movie so I had to make sure that I could create some more dimension in the face. I noticed that I went a little bit hard so I just took some white and cleaned everything up. And then I used some burgundy colored lipstick to line my lip and then make a mole that she had on her face. You can stop here or you can add lines. So to add lines, I went through with the black paint again and then I just kind of drew whatever I felt like for a line. So you just kind of want to go all over the place and, you know, make it have certain indents, make it make it have a few little pieces that are coming out so it looks like it's cracking. I'm making some parts of the crack a little bit thicker so it looks like it is opening up a little bit more and then I'm following through with some gray eyeshadow to kind of give it that shading effect and that's it. You are done. 
All right, and that was look three of Halloween week. As usual, if you guys like this video, leave it a like. If you want to see more like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.